to another video i'm vazi and in today's i'm going to be sharing with you all my twa hair routine it's giving very beginner friendly okay because i am not by any means interested in going in and just like individually finger curling my curls right now it's just not giving my hair is short and honestly i'm just enjoying not having to do too much to it so i wanted to share with you all how i achieve this look i hope you guys like it if you do enjoy it make sure that you do hit that like button make sure you are subscribed to the channel and comment below let me know what you think if you're gonna try it you know let me know let's get into the video All right, you guys, so of course, we are gonna start on freshly washed hair. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this towel around my neck because I absolutely love to work on, to do my wash and goes in with drenched hair. So I'm gonna take my spray bottle and I'm gonna go in, honey. I'm talking in, even though it is still damp, it's not as wet as I would like for it to be. And honestly, the wetter my curls, the better that they will clump and do the thing. So that's what I prefer. I'm going to drench my head. Water's going to be dripping everywhere, okay? Everywhere. And I'm cold. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm going to massage that in so that it can go all the way down to my roots. I have very dense hair, y'all. My hair is thick. And so I, it's important for me to make sure that I massage my hair My hair. To massage the water in my hair. I'm going to get it together, y'all. I'm going to get it together. Anyway, stick with me. It's going to be great. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is go in with this oil that I've blended myself. It's just a few different oils that I always keep in this bottle. I'm going to go directly to my roots with it. So that way my scalp is oiled because she be itching. And we ain't got time for that. <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and just massage that in as well feels so nice y'all if y'all don't give yourself head massages i heavily suggest that you start first of all it helps with hair growth second of all it helps with scalp itching <laughs> and um it just feels amazing so after i do that we are gonna go in with a leave-in conditioner i'm using miles leave-in conditioner the rosemary mint strengthening leave-in conditioner to be specific and i'm actually running out y'all so she pumping she pumping she pumping she got a little something in there but she ain't got too much but we're gonna go ahead and get this out of this bottle just a little bit not too much because we don't want anything flaking and all that other stuff so just enough to of course condition the hair a little bit so I'm gonna go in with that leave-in conditioner and then we are gonna start the process of actually defining these curls, honey. She's ready and we are gonna go in with Mael's Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. I've actually just started using this custard and it's amazing. It has a very snotty texture and i love 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 it so i'm gonna go in and honestly we ain't being shy okay we're gonna go in with a good amount and we're gonna rub this in now i will say that for me i don't like using those uh curl defining like scrub brush type things that you can use to kind of give yourself like those instant locks when you have the mini fros but I do do the same circular motion with just my hands. It works better for me. Absolutely love using my hands to do this. I do not like using the tool. To me, the tool just doesn't get to my roots well enough because my hair is so dense and so thick. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna go in that same circular motion all over my head. And I'm just trying to check the curls because at this point, I was like, ooh, are they curling? Are they doing what they need to do? Hello, hello. But yes, <laughs> they're there. Same thing I'm going to do in the back. Of course, it was kind of hard for me to show you all the back, but it's the same thing. I'm going to make sure that I keep that same 
rotation going all around my head, going in the same direction, circular motion. This definitely takes some time, you guys. So be patient with yourself during this process if you are going to be trying this. And once they start to clump up, you can move on. I'm going to add more water, though, because like I said, for me, I love my curls to be drenched. That's how they clump better, right? So the more moisturized they are, the more they are going to form. And for me, it just wasn't wet enough. So I went in with some more water and then I went back in and I went with that circular motion from the back towards the front and the sides. Now, you're not going to get a perfect look from this, but for me, this look is perfect enough. I love it. It defines the curls enough for me to say, all right, I did something to my hair. As you can see, they're clumping, they're curling, and they're looking so good. Now, you can tell, of course, that there's a lot of product there, but once you are fully dried, it goes away. So, this is what it looks like in the front. And then I'm going to attempt to give you guys a back view. Now, don't judge me, okay? She did what she could. She not all the way in the frame. <laughs> but she did what she could and it too is giving what it needs to have gave and I really absolutely positively love my results for this super simple hair routine when it comes to my wash and goes all right so now we're going to use the wet line extreme gel just to lay those edges this is totally optional if you are very beginner friendly and you're like girl I'm not laying my edges I understand I understand, but honestly, if you are interested in perfecting how you would like to lay your edges, you got to practice this. So get your practice in. Um, I absolutely love playing around my edges, and I keep it simple really these days because, you know, just a little something to make them presentable. Not too much, not too wild, not too crazy, not too crafty, I guess I should say. <laughs> I just go in and I follow how... My hair is laying, and I just go ahead and I lay them down. I only use gel these days. I used to use gel and edge control to keep them firm and in place. But honestly, with this wash and go look, I love how I can just use the gel, and it still gives me like that curly, slick look without it just being pasty and in place. Like if my edges lift a little bit, they're just gonna curl because of the products that I've used. So. I enjoy doing it this way if you are a 4c girly and you prefer that your edges stay laid I would suggest finding a really good edge control that's gonna keep them laid um, I used to like I said double layer so I used to go in with a gel and then a edge control and I found that that worked a lot my baby girl is actually a 4c girly and when I want her edges to stay in place completely, I, I use that method, a gel and then an edge control, and it works really well for her. So, you know, do what you like, do what you please, and do what works for you, honey. Alright, once I have my edges laid exactly how I would like for them to be laid, I'm just going to go in with a pick, the pick of my comb and just kind of fill in any spots that are showing my scalp. Again, my hair is very dense, so it's not showing too much of my scalp, but on the sides, there are times when after I'm done, you know, clumping my curls, you can see my scalp a little bit. So we're just going to disguise that by taking the tip of the comb and filling that in. And this is how she looks, you know, nothing too snazzy, jazzy, but just enough, you know. Love this for her. Love this for me, honey. <laughs> All right, so after we've done the whole shebang, the next important step is drying, of course. Now, I do go in with my diffuser, but if you are one of my girlies who don't want to put heat on your hair, air dry. It will take a little bit longer. You may see a little bit more frizz, but what works for you is what works for you. And again, always do what works for you. So I have a Revlon, nothing too fancy, but I do have the diffuser tip, which I feel like a lot of the dryers, the blow dryers these days come with the diffuser tip. And I feel like it's very important for helping you reduce frizz and, you know, 
getting that look that you want to achieve I go between high and low on a medium heat so I'm just gonna go in with that for about 10 minutes or so nothing too long I will say that your girl arms be tired so 10 minutes with a handheld dryer can be a bit much if you want to sit under the dryer do that too sis again do what works for you do what works for you honey okay okay so we're gonna go through this and clearly I was tired <laughs> But here are the results. I'm about 80% dry, maybe 75 because it still took a little minute to dry after this once I finished air drying. But that is the process, y'all. That is the process. These are the results. That is it. Nothing too fancy. Now, it's not your typical just wash and go. Of course, it's a wash, define, lay them edges and go. But that is my current TWA hair routine. So that was it you guys that is my hair routine i do this every time that i decide that i want to define my curls a little bit it's very beginner friendly and i hope you enjoyed it until next time peace